Today, we will talk about contingent convertibles, COCOs. Contingent convertibles, or COCOs, are debt instruments primarily issued by European financial institutions. These securities work in a fashion similar to traditional convertible bonds. They have a specific strike price that, once breached, allows the conversion of the bond into equity or stock. COCOs, also known as at one bonds, are high yield, high risk products. A COCO is also referred to as an enhanced capital note. The importance of this hybrid debt security is that it carries specialized options that help the issuing financial institution absorb a capital loss. COCOs can help to shore up a bank's balance sheets by allowing it to convert its debt to stock if specific, unfavorable capital conditions arise. They were created after the 2007-2008 global financial crisis to help undercapitalized banks and to reduce the potential for taxpayer-funded bailouts. COCOs are designed to automatically cover bank losses and aid them in satisfying additional Tier 1 and Tier 2 T2, regulatory capital requirements imposed by Basel III. There is a significant difference between bank-issued contingent convertibles bonds and standard convertible bonds. Convertible bonds have bond-like characteristics. They pay a regular rate of interest and have seniority in the case of the underlying business defaulting. These debt securities also allow the bondholder to convert the debt security into the issuer's common stock shares at a specified strike price. This gives investors the potential for share price appreciation. Contingent convertibles expand on the concept of convertible bonds by modifying the conversion terms. COCOs automatically create a loss for investors if the issuer's capital drops under a specific level. Reaching these points of, normally, 7% or 5.125% of total risk-weighted assets can cause three potential results for investors. COCOs can convert to equity while the stock's price is declining, putting investors at risk for losses. Contingent convertibles became popular as an aid to financial institutions in meeting Basel III capital requirements. Basel III is a regulatory accord outlining a set of minimum standards for the banking industry. COCOs act as additional Tier 1 capital, helping European banks to meet the Basel III requirements. Banks use contingent convertibles differently from the way corporations use convertible bonds. Banks absorb financial loss through COCO bonds. Instead of converting bonds to common shares based solely on stock price appreciation, investors in COCOs agree to take equity in exchange for the regular income from the debt when the bank's capital ratio falls below regulatory standards. Contingent convertible bonds are an ideal product for undercapitalized banks in markets around the globe since they come with an embedded option that allows banks to meet capital requirements and limit capital distributions at the same time. The issuing bank benefits from the COCO by raising capital from the bond issue. However, if the bank has underwritten many bad loans, it may fall below its Basel Tier 1 capital requirements. In this case, the COCO carries a stipulation that the bank doesn't have to pay periodic interest payments, and it may even write down the full debt to satisfy Tier 1 requirements. Let's say Deutsche Bank issued contingent convertibles with a trigger set to core Tier 1 capital instead of a strike price. If Tier 1 capital falls below 5%, the convertibles automatically convert to equity, and the bank improves its capital ratios by removing the bond debt from its balance sheet. It's important that investors who hold COCO bonds weigh the risk that they'll need to act quickly if the bond is converted. Otherwise, they may experience significant losses. In 2023, Credit Suisse Group AG's contingent convertible securities suffered a historic $17 billion loss after UBS Group AG agreed to buy the bank. The Swiss government brokered the deal to contain a spreading crisis of confidence in global financial markets. Coco bonds of other European lenders also plunged, with Deutsche Bank's £650 million 7.125% note suffering its biggest ever one-day decline. COCOs are a popular way for European banks to raise capital while providing additional loss-absorbing capacity in times of stress. However, Credit Suisse's experience raised concerns about the future of the COCO market and at one bonds. 
Contingent convertibles and convertible bonds both have a price point that triggers the conversion of the bond into equity or stock. However, COCOs have several triggers while traditional convertible bonds have only one. Yes, COCOs are regulated in the European Union under the Basel III regulatory framework. The framework sets minimum standards for the banking industry to improve supervision, risk management, and capital requirements. During a period of financial stress or uncertainty for banks, the value of COCOs can significantly decrease, as they are high-risk instruments. If a bank is struggling and needs additional capital, the value of its shares may decrease, putting COCO investors at risk for losses. If a bank fails to meet its capital requirements, it may postpone the payment of interest or convert the bond into equity at a lower price to meet the regulatory standards. In dire situations, the bank may write down the value of COCOs to zero. Here are four key takeaways. 1. COCOs have a strike price at which the bond can be converted into stock. 2. They are used by the banking industry to absorb losses automatically and to satisfy regulatory capital requirements. 3. A bank that's struggling financially does not have to repay the bond, make interest payments, or convert the bond to stock. 4. COCO investors receive interest payments that are typically much higher than those from traditional bonds. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.